Today, I'm going to show how to remove out the uh, instrumental cluster. This is a dashboard for 1999 Land Cruiser. Here it is. This is a dashboard. I want to change the uh, light light bulb inside the, in the dashboard. So I have to take it out. Uh, this is not the difficult procedure, and but you need to know what the uh, the hidden schools and the uh, some secrets in there. I'm gonna display today. Hope you can hope that he can help you. Here's the all the tools you need. The uh, this uh, this uh, school Philip screwdriver and this kind and the ten millimeter uh, span and this is a flat small span driver and the tape and I will show you how to use that later. First. And uh, we need to disconnect this in the battery. Done. Secure that and leave it here. Don't let me forget. Before reaching the uh, dashboard, I need to remove the steel. First thing is to remove the airbag. The screw will be under. You will see in here, inside here. And here and this one inside here okay and I need to use this tape to cover cover the uh, the school to open up the in the plastic cap like this Like this. Change here. Okay, here is open up. See this. This these things. This is one screw here. This is going to be the one screw here, and we'll do the other side. Here, this other one. It's on the uh, right side of the, uh, the steering wheel. Here, take it out. This is the thing. This is the plastic cover. Okay, and another screw here. This one. I need to screw it off. Using using this screw. Okay. I'm going to do it here, do it here, this screw. Okay, both screw has been loosened. This you cannot remove out. This loose, this screw cannot be taken out. Just loose them. There's a one, and there's another one. They already loose. Now the airbag, you can take your airbag out. Just be careful. The airbag is going to explode if you're not careful on that. This. Okay. And I need to unplug those wheels. Those right here, those right wheels. And I need to unplug this. 
this will be easy. Okay, next one I'm going to re I already unplugged in the wire and I need to in the, um, remove the steering wheel. The steering wheel will be using the 19 millimeter socket. Here's the one. It says it's a 19 millimeter for this for this bolt. This bolt right here. This bolt right here. And before you do that, I need to line this up on the flat on here this side. Make sure this is an old flat. The wheel is alignment, and you will see this in the old flat. Here's this bolt. Loose it. Now remove one. Here's the wheel. Here's the wheel. Here's the wheel. Now we have an open area to open to reaching the dashboard. There's a four screw. There's a one on up here and a one on up here. And we re remove this one just easily to lift up. I think it's a plug. Here we go. And you remove this one. Remove this one. See that? And you can remove and need to unplug that wire on the back. You see that? And just unplug this one right here. On the back. Here you go. Get this out. You can just leave right here. And you will see another two score on here. The black one score right there. And this is a black score right score right there. This so this one, this one, and top top four four score. Remove that four screw first. Okay, the four screw will be loosened and I take it out. Here it is. One. And this. Two. Two. And you see this in the dashboard already loose. And here, this one, I'm going to take the uh, little clamp to remove it. So you take this one out first. The hand cannot reach it. Still not loose. Okay, keep it this. Okay, and this. This one and 
here. Okay, it doesn't want out. And you need to lose this screw, this one, and this one. It's hard to see, but yeah, it's right in there. See in the middle. It's right there. These two, both two screw, uh, fix the connection inside on the back. We cannot see. But you cannot remove this, those two screws cannot be removed out, but have to lose them. Okay, I will do that now. Okay, you can see that. And I need to lose these two screws. I lose this one first. Good. Should be okay now. And this one. Just loose them. It's uh, kind of a long, about like a half inch long, so we need to do a more turn to loose them. Now you can pull it out now easily. I will lose them. And you need to lower this column, lower this down. This there's a switch here, and need to pull this column down. Uh, here, look. So it's gonna be. It's almost pulled out. I think. See the whole thing is move out here. And you see. And both two screws will see that and connect to here, and this should be stick here for the return for the reinstall back, and it must be stay in there. See this must be see this screw must be stayed in there, and then when they install back, and this uh, that's the on the back you see inside this inside wheel. This one and this one. These the uh, two connections. The screw is going here and the screw is going here. Okay, now we're going to remove then the four screw to open this cover. The cover is right here. We need to open the four screw to open the cover. And here's the one you can see. The screw is in the this one, this one, and this one, and this one. And use this in the Phillips screwdriver. Here we go. Cover is removed. Here's the inside. The light we need to change is right here. It's on here. It's on here. On here. Now you see we put back this in. I change the bulb inside the panel and I'll put this back in. The first thing you slice in, slice in and then you screw this right this this screw right here. Right on this one. Right on this one. And 
this one, and that's in a wire connection school. Uh, they won't be tight. It, it's still school, and uh, until you get tight, but you will feel a little bit tight, and then you can stop that. Uh, and then you install in the, the above school right here. This one and this one both. Now I already put in. It's already tight, and those, and I need to put those those this one and this one back in. And now you can see we put this all back and this one and all we install school and this panel all store back and this one and push in and make sure you connect the wire this is for dimmer this button for the panel dimmer and so this should be there and next one we'll install the uh, the wheel and the airbag that will be pretty easy You will put the back wheel on, the wheel you can see, and it's the wheel. You just put it on, and we need to connect the uh, the wire for the airbag and install the airbag back. And here's the screw for fix the uh, wheel. Now the wheel is put it back on, and Here's the uh, school, and here's in the here's another school right here, right there. Now with everything done, we connect back to the wire, right here. Okay. Okay, now we turn on the panel 